everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and today I am sharing this cute little treat box right here. And I love this little box, it's super cute. And I'm using the Lots of Love uh, box framelits again. And if you saw the video where I made this box, it's the same framelits that I'm using. And so I'm going to show you that here in just a minute, how to do this smaller box with the same framelit. And this box holds two of these little Ghirardelli Valentine squares. So these are the ones that I have in there, and they fit perfect in here. And I really didn't plan it that way. I had bought those chocolates for a different project but it worked out perfect so you have something to put in these cute little boxes so this is what I'm sharing today pardon my voice again I'm at the end of that cold it's so funny y'all um, my whole office there are ten of us there every single one of us have the same thing and that tells you how strong this virus is how contagious it is but it, we, it's never happened before so we're all fighting it at the same time. Hopefully we're all getting rid of it at the same time too. So we don't pass it back and forth. Alright, so the pro the um, stamp set I'm using is the Sure Do Love You, which is a bundle with the framelits. These are the framelits. And like I said, they're the Lots of Love Box framelits. So we're using this again. And we're going to use this heart here again. So I'm going to set those aside get them ready to go and then I'm using this stamp set also and I'm using this frame this um, stamp set stamp right here and um, the framelit and or the punch that goes with this and then I'm using this love right here out of this one so we're using both those stamp sets alright so the paper for this is that you're going to need two pieces that are four and a half by four and this is Blushing Bride. And then you're going to need another piece that is for the matting, which is two and three quarters by two and one quarters. And this paper is, um, let me grab it really quick. I had it sitting right here. I forgot the name of it. It is the Bundle of Love Designer Series paper. And then you'll need a piece of scrap um, and another piece for your stamping. But this is the paper, so you can make a blue one if you want to do it in blue and not make it so frilly for a boy. So um, I'm actually going to make another box and I'm going to share that with you probably Tuesday. I'm going to share another box, a different style, using the same framelit. So there's a lot of ways I'm sharing to use this framelit and it is awesome. I love this framelit. I'm so happy we, we got this framelit. But this paper is super cute. And the other side is all gold foiled. So it is a specialty designer series paper. So cute. But you'll have to watch Tuesday because the box is super cute. It is not my design. I um, A friend of mine um, pointed me to another girl in Germany. And I watched her video over and over a couple times and figured out how to make this other box. So I'm going to share it with you because it's too cute not to. So let's get started with this. You do need a big shot to do this. So I'm going to set that aside and we're going to cut these pieces first. So let me grab the big shot here and I'll show you how to do that. And it's really easy. So what you do now, because to make it smaller is why the pieces of paper are smaller. It's not going to fit the whole um, framelit. We do have to do it this way. So you're going to do it on the uh, four and a half inch side. You're going to place your framelit. Put your framelit right to the top there. And then just set it down. We're going to put our plate on here. And we're going to run that through. You don't have to run it all the way through, by the way. You can just run it up to here and then run it back. And so there's our first piece. And then we're going to do the same with this one. 
and I'll show you what I meant about just running it back and forth. You can even put it just up to there and run it through. And then we have our other piece right here. So you can see how that's going to create a smaller box. All right, I'm going to have to bring the big shot up again here in a little bit just to cut out our other pieces. Actually, just the heart, but I'm going to set it back down here for a minute. And we'll just put the box together. So everything on this is already scored, and we're going to just put this together like we put together our last one. If you didn't see that video, you can go check that one out too. That box is super cute too. I really like that. But this one is so perfect just for those little, this could be really cute for the kids um, to send to your kids' classrooms and stuff. So I'm finding all my score marks here and I'm sharpening them all because it is a box after all and we want all our pieces scored really well. It's hard to see it on the opposite side. It's easier to see it on the side it's scored, but I got it now. Alright, so use some double-sided adhesive that's very strong like your Fast Fuse or your um, Terran type. I'm going to just use the Fast Fuse. And these go together on the opposite sides. So I'm going to put it adhesive on the inside here and on the inside on this one. And these go together so quick. Now we're going to just attach this here. Just line it up. And then do the same on this side. Depending on which, which side you decide to put. Um, I'll make this my front since that's going back. I just like it to look cleaner going back. So then that is it. I'm going to put a little adhesive on here because it's going to be the bottom of the box. You don't have to. It's just something I like to do. And there there you have it look how cute and how quick and easy it is with those little those framelits all right so let's decorate the top I'm gonna grab my whisper white here I'm gonna grab my little stamp I'm gonna use some blushing bride here I'm gonna stamp the blushing bride here I'm gonna go ahead and stamp and it is supposed to be like that it's kind of a distressed look and then the other ones I'm stamping with the crumb cake. So I'm going to stamp the love. I'll do that one up here. And then I'm going to stamp this little frame. And these are these two that's not going to matter right now. I pressed a little too hard because it's going to be covered anyway. So we're fine. So this one, I am using the 1 and 3 eighths circle punch to punch out the love. So there's our love right there. And then this one I am using, I can't remember the name of this punch, but I'll put it um, listed in my supply list and in the video when I, we are going to punch that out. And then I do need to bring the big shot up again for the heart. And we'll just run that through. So you can just use scrap, you know, for like I did on this one, just to get all your little pieces that you're going to need to layer with. So that's it. Now we have our heart, everything ready to go. So let's go ahead and make it pretty. 
So we're going to layer this piece first. You can see it's got the gold on the other side. It's really pretty. So I'm going to layer this on the front. I love this pa paper. It's super pretty. And then we're going to put our label. I love layering things like this. It just makes it so pretty. In the center, I'm going to use some dimensionals for the heart and for the love. So I'm going to put a couple on the back of the heart. And we're going to set the heart kind of a little bit sideways, not sideways, but a little bit tilted. And then we're going to put the love. We only need one for that one. And we'll put that right there. And last but not least, I'm using the little, I'm going to set that down just a hair. There. I'm using these little bows. These are our 2017-19 in color, the Bitty Bows embellishments, and I'm going to use the, of course, the pink one. And these have little adhesives on it, so just take the adhesive backing off, and it's so cute. I love this bow, and I'm just setting it right there. And let's, I got a couple more candies here, so let's just go ahead and fill it with our little Ghirardelli hearts. So cute. And that's it. So look how cute these are. Look how quick and easy they are to put together. Aren't, wouldn't these be adorable to send to your kids' classrooms? You can make a boy's version too. I know my grandson wants to, has to have a boy version. You don't have to put all the fluff and frill. You can put just some more um, fun masculine. But I love the feminine look on this one. I just love this one. So I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop right from my blog. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I will catch you in the next one. I'll see you later. Bye.